Welcome everyone to this video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to remove all viruses, malware, adware, and spyware off of your Mac computer. We will be doing a full deep clean to help optimize your Mac and make sure it's running at its peak efficiency. We are doing this on macOS Ventura. I will post a link down in the video description to previous versions of this video on older versions of macOS. To get started, step one, come down here and click on the finder and open it. Come to the top and click on go and then click on Utilities. Look for Disk Utility and open it. When this window opens, come over here and just extend down the left-hand column, extend. Starting from the bottom, you need to select the last option and then come over here and click on First Aid. Before you click on Run, make sure you save and close everything and then click Run and then Continue. When you get the green check mark, you know you are done. You can click on done and you're just going to repeat this process for every item listed here on the left hand column. You just click on it, run first aid, then up the next one, first aid, all the way up to the top until you've done every single item down the left hand column. For step two, we're going to run a free anti-malware scan. And if you go down to the notes down in the video description, underneath step two, there's a link. Just click on it. It will take you to this page for malware bytes. Click on free download. Click allow, go to your downloads folder and run and install the download. Click continue and continue all the way through, agree, and then install. Type in your password and then install. Click OK. Click on get started. We are going to click on personal. Click on maybe later. And then when you get to this step, go ahead and click on malware bytes in the top left and click on check for updates. And then click on close. And then we're going to click on scan. Just let this sit and run until it's fully completed. If it finds any results, it will give you the option to remove them. For step three, we're going to run a free antivirus scan. And if you go back down to the notes down in the video description, underneath step three, I've listed four free antivirus programs you can use. Select one of them. And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use Avast. I'm just going to click on free download and then allow. And then after it downloads, go ahead and run the installer. Install Avast, just double click on it. Click allow and then continue through the installation. Agree, install, type in your computer password and then install and then click on continue and then open system preferences. This window will pop up underneath security. Look for where it says system software from Avast. Click allow, type in your computer password and then modify and then continue. Click open and then click on allow and then continue and then got it. When you get to this window, click on Avast Security in the top left, check for updates. And then after it updates, click on Virus Scans, click on the Deep Scan option, and then let this run until it's fully completed. If it finds any results, it will give you the option to remove them. For step four, we need to make sure there is not a malicious profile installed on your Mac. And to do this, come up to the top left corner and click on the Apple icon, and then click on System Settings. From here, come up to the top and type in profiles and then select profiles. And if you ever see anything here that you do not recognize, you need to select it and click this minus sign to remove it. For step five, we're going to clean out all of our web browsers and we're going to start with Google Chrome. First, come to the menu in the top right, click on it and go down to help and then click on about Google Chrome. This will just confirm that you are up to date with the most recent security and performance updates. Next, click on the menu Go down to more tools and extensions. Come up here and flip on the developer mode and click on update. Extensions are fun and convenient, but they are terrible for privacy and security and a common way for malware to get onto the computer. And so I strongly recommend that you remove as many extensions as possible. To do so, just click on remove and then remove. If there is an extension you absolutely cannot part ways with, just go ahead and disable it while it's not in use. And then click on the menu in the top right again, more tools and click on clear browsing data. Now, if you've had problems with malware, there's a good chance you went to a malicious website. So we want to make sure we clear out all of the history and cookies. And so make sure you click on advance, select all time, make sure you only have just the top four boxes checked and then click on clear data. And then after you clear the data, come up here to the search settings option and type in home. Make sure that the toggle for home is toggled on. And then just right here, make sure that your home page is what you want it to be just to make sure it did not get changed. Next, come up here and type in search engine. And then right here is the option to make sure that your search engine did not get changed. You can click on the drop down menu and select the one that you want to use if it did get changed. And then come back up here to the top again and type in startup. And then just make sure that this startup option did not get changed from your preferred 
preference. If it did, you can change it and then also make sure on this bottom option that this is the website you want to have open. If it needs to be removed or changed, you can click edit or remove right here and change it as needed. Next is Firefox with Firefox open. Come up here to the top left and click where it says Firefox and then click on about Firefox. And this will just confirm that you are again up to date with the most recent security and performance updates. Next, we're going to close this and click on the menu in the top right and go down to add-ons and themes. Make sure you have extensions selected in the left-hand side and then click on the gear icon and then click on check for updates. Same as before, we want to remove as many extensions as possible. Remove all of them if possible. To do so, click on the little menu here and click on remove and then remove. If there is an extension you cannot part ways with, go ahead and disable it while it's not in use. Next, come back to the menu in the top right and click on it and this time go down to history and then click on clear recent history. Again, we're clearing the history out of the browsers because if you've had malware on the computer, there's a good chance you went to a malicious website. So make sure this is set to everything and then check only the top five boxes and then click on OK. We're going back to the menu in the top right, this time down to settings. Come over to the left hand side and click on home right here. Make sure that your home page is correct and was not changed. Next, click on search and right here, make sure that your search engine is correct. If you need to change it, you can do so right here. With Safari open, come up here to the top left corner and click on Safari and then click on settings. From here, click on extensions and then same thing, remove as many extensions as possible. And to do so, you will need to uncheck the box and then click on uninstall and then show in finder. It will highlight it. So you just need to click and drag it to the trash, type in your computer password and then click on OK. And we're going to keep this one, but uncheck it to disable it while it's not in use. Next, go to search right here. Make sure your search engine is correct and then click on general. From here, just double check that these top four options are correct, including your homepage. Next, you'll come up here to history. Click on clear history. Make sure that this is set to all history and then click on clear history. For step six, we need to make sure that everything is up to date because those include security and performance improvements. And to make sure Mac OS is up to date, your operating system, just come up here to the top left corner and click on the Apple icon and then click on system settings. Come up here to the search and type in software update. And once you do so, just click on the top option, software update. And right here, it's just going to double check to see if there's any updates available. If there are, it will give you the option to download and install it. Next, come back to the top left and click on the Apple icon and this time click on App Store. Here in the App Store, you just want to come over here and click on updates in the left hand column. And if there's any updates available for your applications, they will be listed here. For step seven, we need to double check the login items to make sure there is nothing running in the background. And to do this, come up to the top left corner and click on the Apple icon and click on system settings. Type in login items in the search and then just click on the option listed here. And here at the top, it's going to list all the applications that are running every time you log into your Mac. We want to get this list down to zero. So to do that, just click on an item and then click on the minus sign to remove it and just continue to do that until there's nothing on the list. Additionally, you can double check to see what applications are running in the background and you can just toggle a switch to turn it off. For step eight, we need to clean out all the garbage data. And to do this, we just come to the top left corner and click on the Apple icon and then click on system settings. In the search, just type in optimized storage and then click on the first option that says storage. Here at the top, it's going to give you a breakdown of what's taking up space on your drive. And you do have some options down here. For example, you can move some of your files over into iCloud if you'd like to. You can optimize your storage. You can even empty the trash automatically, though we will do that at the end of this video. The main thing here that I want to point out is documents. Come over here and click on the I and make sure that large files is selected and go through all of these and delete all of the garbage that you possibly can. To do so, you just select an item and then click on delete. And after you've gone through this full list, come over here to file browser and you need to go through your movies folder, pictures, downloads, music, desktop, and even double check documents again to make sure that you remove all of the garbage and delete it out of there and move it into the trash. For step nine, we need to remove all the garbage applications and bad programs out of the computer. And to do this, we need to go down to the finder and open it up. Make sure you have the applications column selected in the left-hand column, and this will give you a list of all the applications and programs on your computer. 
The first thing we want to do is remove the two programs we installed earlier, Malwarebytes and Avast. Do not leave them installed. We are trying to clean out the computer and optimize it, not add to the clutter and slow it down. So first to remove Malwarebytes, we're going to come up here to the search. We're going to type in Malwarebytes and hit enter. And then with this Mac selected, we're going to hit the plus sign. And then we're going to do name matches and then type in Malwarebytes and then hit the plus sign again. And then on this drop down menu, we want to do system files. If you do not have system files listed here, click on other and you will find it there. And then after selecting that, we're going to change this to are included. And we're going to click and drag to select all of these and drag all of them to the trash. Type in your computer password and click OK. And then to remove Avast, we're going to come up here and click on Avast and click on the open option. With it open, we're going to click on Avast in the top left and then click on the uninstall option. Continue, computer password, again if requested, and then finish. Next, you want to go through the list of applications here and check everything. If you've had malware on the computer, there's a good chance something bad was installed. And you just want to really, really scrub this list. The better job you do here, the better your computer will run. If you're not sure what something is, you can always do an internet search to do some research on it. If there's something here that you don't use, remove it. Keep an eye out for anything that says toolbar or cleaner or optimization program. Those are usually bad. Once you find something you are ready to remove, just click and drag it to the trash. And then once you've moved all the applications you're uninstalling to the trash, just go ahead and click on the trash to open it up and then click on the empty option to fully remove everything and then empty trash. For the last step, we need to restart the Mac. And so to do that, just click on the Apple icon in the top left and then select the restart option. After you restart your Mac, you'll notice the Malwarebytes icon is now gone. And at this point, you should be done and ready to go. If for any reason you're still having problems or issues, I strongly recommend you back up all of your data and then consider resetting your Mac and I will link to a video down below down in the video description that will walk you through that process. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.